A federal judge on Monday barred Donald Trump from verbally attacking those involved in a criminal case that accuses him of trying to overturn his 2020 election loss. That includes U.S. prosecutors, court staff, and potential witnesses. U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin pointed to disparaging social media posts and said she would not allow Trump to, quote, launch a pre-trial smear campaign. While speaking at a campaign rally in Iowa, the former U.S. president, who has pleaded not guilty, vowed to appeal the judge's order. Today, a judge put on a gag order. I'll be the only politician in history that runs with a gag order where I'm not allowed to criticize people. The order bars the frontrunner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination and his attorneys from personally targeting special counsel Jack Smith, prosecutors working with him, and court staff. It also prevents Trump from discussing potential witnesses as relates to the testimony at trial. But Chutkin said she would allow Trump to make critical statements about the U.S. Justice Department and that denounced the prosecution as politically motivated. Trump's trial is due to begin in five months. Somebody said we could have checked a box or something. We don't check a box. 
This is a statute that was never used before, never once used before for anything like this. I'm the first one. Isn't that, isn't that nice? And I should be in Iowa now. I should be in New Hampshire now. I should be in South Carolina now or someplace else campaigning. The good news is we're about 60 points up on everybody, and we're leading Biden by 11. And that's why they're doing this, because this is all coming out of Washington. The judge is going to make a decision. Now, the judge, I've got to respect the judge and like the judge. I like him, but it's not fair because I don't know how he can make a fair decision on this. He's got all the Democrats pushing him left and right, pushing him around like a pinball. And it's a very unfair situation that they put me in. I want a jury. I'm entitled to a jury. But this is a case that should have never been brought. And just to conclude, they said I overvalued my financial statements. Well, actually, the financial statements are undervalued by tremendous amounts of money. They're very conservative. They're undervalued. The actual work is much more than that. So therefore, there's no fraud. They don't mention that there's a disclaimer clause. There's a big disclaimer, which it says, basically, do your own due diligence. Don't even rely on the financial statements. Again, the financial statements are the actual statements is very much less than the actual work. The actual work is higher, so therefore it's very conservative, and that's what the banks got. And therefore there's no fraud. Then there's no fraud because there's a disclaimer clause at the beginning and all throughout the financial statements. It says, do your own work, do not rely on these statements. 100% do not rely on these statements. And third thing is, I was tried under a statute that's never been used before, that doesn't allow you to have a jury. I'm not allowed to have a jury. I never heard of that before. I don't get the option. If I beg for a jury, they wouldn't give me a jury. I get no jury. The judge is going to make a decision. He's a very black judge. He's very liberal. And I believe he's under a lot of pressure. This is a rigged trial. This is a rigged situation. And our country can't stand these things. And the people of our country understand it. We're being railroaded. And I have other trials we're being railroaded. You saw yesterday where they take away my right to speak. I won't be able to speak like I'm speaking to you. And I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm saying the truth. I won't be able to do this with that trial. Because the judge, which of course we're appealing, because the judge said basically I don't have a right to speak. And I'm, a, I'm the number one candidate leading the Republicans by 55 or 60 points. That should be over. I'm and leading Joe Biden. And leading Joe Biden. And I'm being restricted. My, my speech has been taken away from me. I'm a candidate that's running for office, and I'm not allowed to speak. This is a railroading that's all coming out of the Department of Justice. It's all set up by Biden and his thugs that he's surrounded with to try and sneak out an election victory that he's not entitled to win because he's been the worst president in the history of our country. Thank you very much. What does Melania think about this, Mr. President? Mr. President, this 